Well, finally pulled the plug and did it. Bought a 12,000 pound mile marker hydraulic winch to go on the front of my trailer for recovery purposes. Inside, this is what I get for 107 pounds is what the box said it weighed. So that's pretty light for the amount of uh, pulling power, 12,000 pounds. It's got a two speed uh, gearbox for two different line speeds and it has a freewheel and then it has the hydraulic motor over here run off of uh, three and a half gallons per minute at 1500 psi it's designed to run off of the power steering pump in your truck but I'm gonna mount it on a trailer so I'm making a hydraulic power pack so I've got to the part about you not Honda knockoff motor because the Hondas were four times the price and I don't think I'm gonna put that kind of hours on it so originally I was gonna use this eight horse Briggs and Stratton that I have here would have worked just fine but there's no way to direct drive a hydraulic pump. There's no mounting holes to put a coupler on to direct drive the pump and the pump I have you can't drive off a belt it has to be in line driven. There's no thrust bearings to dr side drive the pump. The pump has to be driven from the end with a love joint connection so if you were to put a pulley on the end you would side load the shaft and wear out the bushings inside. So that is now going to be coupled to the motor like that and then that will bolt on like that and this this pump will put out a little bit more it'll put out about five five gallons per minute thereabouts I didn't want to be shy so I have lots of horsepower and then I've got a seven gallon uh, hydraulic reservoir that I recovered salvaged that I'm going to use for a reservoir it's got a filter base there so now I'll make a nice little I guess little skid up and put it all because originally I was planning to go inside the toolbox on my trailer but the toolbox on my trailer is way too small for what this is gonna be so I'm just gonna build it on a skid for right now maybe down the road I'll build a custom-made toolbox that will incorporate the the reservoir and incorporate uh, the motor but for now we got a couple of that to the pump and then get the valve and some lines and hook it up to there and build a mount to go on the trailer so that's what I've been up to and I've been working on a crane mount for my trailer too so I can mount that crane on the front of my trailer and have that stick out over the gooseneck is the same length and then when I need to lift something on I can swing it around.